A week ago I happened to find an iPhone app that adjusts the pitch of the sound based on the phone's GPS speed. I started thinking about whether it could be used to give the bike an artificial engine sound, similar to what some manufacturers have in their electric cars. I have previously talked about the pros and cons of having a silent motocross with Anton at Stark Future. This is something that has also been discussed online and I know that there are many out there who are looking for a solution. You know, this is uh, an important subject and we have discussed it at, at great length. It's not certain that they will hear or see you no matter what bike you're on. I really recommend to watch the full interview if you haven't already seen it. It's two parts and both are available on my YouTube channel. The purpose of the sound is not for you to hear it yourself, but for other riders on the track, to get an idea of where you are when you approach from behind. This is just an early idea and something I will continue to work on, but I thought I would still show what I have found so far. As for the speaker, I am using a JBL GO 4. It's a compact speaker with surprisingly big sound, despite its 190 gram weight and small size. It's also waterproof, shockproof and relatively inexpensive. The app I use to play the sound is called Speed Pitch and is only available for iPhone. It's quite possible that there is something similar available for Android as well. I searched for a suitable sound for a long time before giving up and recorded one myself using an online synthesizer. Then I opened the file in Adobe Audition and trimmed the clip to remove what I didn't want to use and used the remix function to generate a longer sound clip. I saved the file to iCloud and then imported it into the app. There are a few different settings, but I left the default settings as they were. For clarity, I want to mention that I have used a separate microphone to record the sound because the camera has a hard time getting it right. Here is a clip that has to be considered proof of concept, still a lot of work to be done. Overall it works, but there is a delay of about 1-2 to two seconds between actual speed and speed measured via GPS. I calibrated that post-production. If Stark Future had allowed the data to be retrieved from either their app or directly from the motorcycle, this would not have been a problem. The sound volume is not optimal, but there are other solutions for that, so I won't go into detail right now. But there's one other way. Before I tried the app, I used the speaker to listen to music through Spotify. People would stop in their tracks when I approached them playing some dramatic classical music. Definitely an unfair advantage, but still kind of funny, though. and the possibilities are endless. Why not raise the tempo with some crossover trash metal? or just enjoy the silence. I haven't decided yet if I want to ride with sound or not, but I will continue to refine the solution until then. There are many things that need to be resolved before I feel like I have something that can be used in a stable and simple way, but it's still fun to play with the idea. And even though I would find it fun to ride with music playing through the speaker, I don't think everyone else would appreciate it as much as I do. 
don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.